Hi boys and girls, Miss Edna here again. Today we're going to finish the story of Noah's Ark, which is in the book of Genesis. We'll find out what happened to Noah and all the animals. Here we go! As the flood water rose, Noah's Ark rocked. This way a little, then that way a little, this way, then that way, this way, that way. Then it gave an enormous groan as the flood waters lifted it. Hooray, cried Noah, we're afloat. For 40 days and nights, it rained without stopping. The flood water rose higher and higher until even the tallest trees on the tallest mountains disappeared. But Noah, his family, and the animals were safe and warm inside. Of course, it wasn't easy living on a floating zoo. It was very dark inside, and the noise was terrible. The animals had to be fed and exercised every morning, and someone had to clean out all the pens. Pooh! But Noah and his family never got downhearted. They just kept trusting in God. One morning, Noah was busy doing his rounds when suddenly he stopped. Listen, he cried. His family and the animals listened too. Something had happened, something very important. It had stopped raining. Now what shall we do? asked Noah's wife, looking over the side. We must wait, smiled Noah. God will not forget us. For weeks, they drifted across the calm sea, just waiting. Finally, the ark stopped, stuck on the top of a tall mountain. Slowly, slowly, the flood water was going down. One day, Noah set free a raven to look for land. But the bird couldn't find a place to rest and flew back to the ark. We must wait just a little longer, said Noah. Noah waited for six long watery weeks. Then he sent out a dove. Bring me a sign, he called as the bird flew off. All day long, Noah and the animals watched and waited. Just before nightfall, when they had nearly given up hope, they heard the gentle flap of wings. She's back, cried Noah pointing excitedly, and look in her beak. It was a real olive tree twig. There must be trees poking out of the water. Noah waited another week, then sent out the dove again. And this time, she didn't come back. She had found dry land. It's time to leave the ark, cried Noah joyfully. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe. God was joyful too. This is a new start for the world, he told Noah. Let your family and the animals out into the sunshine. Go and make new homes and fill the earth with new life. So Noah threw open the doors, out charged the animals, kicking their heels and calling at the top of their voices. Then God painted a rainbow in the sky. This is a sign of my love, he said. I will never wash away the world again. Whenever the sun shines after the rain, I will put the rainbow in the sky to remind you of my promise. Well, boys and girls, that's the end of the story to Noah's Ark. Next time you see a rainbow, remember God's faithfulness. See you next time.